An Introduction to Abstract Photography for School Students. Welcome to this photography lesson. Hi, I'm Rob, the arts teacher. I've taught art for more than four decades and I've worked with high school students. I've worked with undergraduate and postgraduate art students and elementary school children and I've worked with numerous artists. What is an abstract picture and what is the process of abstraction? Now something we all know, but it needs to be stated here, is that a painting of a tree is not the tree. It is already a slight abstraction of the tree because before anything else, it is patches of color of paint on a flat surface. We also know that we can create extremely abstract pictures where no object seen or person is recognizable. So if one picture can be slightly abstract and another can be extremely abstract, we now know that abstraction is not just one thing. There are many grades of abstraction along a continuum from pictorial representation, it looks like the object, to total abstraction, it looks nothing like any object we know. The more abstract the picture is, the less representational it is. And the more representational a picture is, the less abstract it becomes. In this project, the challenge is to create photos that are as abstract as you can make them. The challenge is to see if you can transform objects and situations from your surroundings into the most extreme forms of abstraction possible. I love photography and I teach photography a lot. All you'll need for this lesson is your mobile phone and a simple photo editing app which you will find in your phone. When I work with my young students in the elementary school and I'm teaching photography, I want to achieve several things. The first thing is that I believe that great photographs begin with our experience of our surroundings, the way we see and hear and sense and feel our surroundings. So that's the first learning goal, to be open to what's around us. The second learning goal is always around some photography skills and improving students' ability to edit their photographs in very simple but expressive ways. Thirdly, what I'm looking for in each of these lessons is to link photography with some art elements. For instance, it might be contrasts, it might be observations of light, it may be colour expression, or in this case, it's abstraction. And finally, the fourth learning goal and this is really important. In each lesson, I'm trying to create open situations, open-ended situations, where students are encouraged to experiment and to express their own creativity and to make their own creative choices. So, shall we dive in to this photography abstraction project? There are many ways of making abstract photographs. In this lesson, we show seven different ways to find ideas for abstract photography. Try some of them or try them all. The first idea is to get extremely close to your subject, crop out all the edges and the context so that your photograph focuses on colors, shapes, patterns and surface. Look for patterns in your surroundings. Again, come close with your camera. Exclude everything that isn't part of the pattern. Experiment with black and white subjects in your surroundings. Or use your color photographs and apply a black and white filter to them. Observe how sunlight and even darkness, reflections, Artificial lights and playing with camera movement all create abstract effects. Now it's time to experiment with colour. Look for bold colours in your surroundings. 
And then in your camera, play around with your photo settings with color saturation and other filters to exaggerate the colors. Experiment with unexpected points of view when taking your photos. This can make an object less recognizable and more abstract. What else can you discover by playing with your photo filters and editing options? Look at the abstract compositions my students made by simply experimenting, playing around with their filters and editing functions. I hope you have fun exploring your own surroundings, experimenting with your photographs, playing with your filters and your editing options, and creating amazing and surprising abstracts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. If you want to see more short videos with art tips, lesson ideas and art projects, please hit subscribe and the notification bell.